Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's the girl Tajera. So, today is a vlog on come to work with me. So, right now it's 10 12. I'm getting ready to head to work. So today is my eight hour shift night. Um, I work 11 to seven. Right now I'm in the drive-thru. I'm gonna get me some lunch and a little dinner and something for me to eat right now. And yeah, so I work 45 minutes away from where I live. I am a local travel nurse. So I'm about to order my food. Hold on y'all, let me order my food. Okay, I just ordered my food. Um, yeah, so I'm not tired at all, but I may be a little tired because I did go to my day job. Um, around like four, so I woke up at like three. My last, y'all. And um, usually, like on Wednesdays, I'll go work at the med spa. At first, I was doing both. I was working, I'll go in at the med spa and I'll go in at the OR. And that just, it became too much on my body, like a lot on my body. And eventually I stopped working at the med spa, really. Um, I would just come in for like my one client and you know that was just not a good look because my dream job is ultimately cosmetic nursing because i'm a beauty person hold on let me uh pay for my food so like initially um you know it just wasn't a good look because i have a unique cosmetic nursing job which I'll talk about in another video but I have to get my own clients and you know it was just hard working nights and days so I just chose the for sure job which is I clock in and I get paid and I leave you know and I have my scheduled off days and on my off days I was kicking it cuz I'm making good money working my 12 hours working my shifts and then I go home and I have my Friday Saturday Sunday off so it was like gravy to me but I know that is not my end destination and I have to keep up the work to keep this cosmetic nursing job which I'm thankful I got in how I got in because man when I say it was like 20 applicants in that zoom call we had and you know it's just hard getting in cosmetics period as a nurse and I was blessed in the position that I got like how I got in which like I said it'll be another video but I'm gonna take y'all with me a little snippet of how I gotta do this so this uh OR night shift day shift is a lot of opportunity for growth too in the field I'll talk about that after the vlog but yes stay tuned and come to work with me y'all so I'm changing out of these scrubs and getting into my other scrubs and let me see if I can hide this is my badge is so cute look at it look at it Ain't it pretty? <laughs> All right. This is Wednesday. Wednesday. It's like Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday. It's actually Wednesday. Really? It's Wednesday. Podcast. I'm B. Simone. And I'm Megan Ashley. And this is our podcast where we talk about healing, growing, evolving. Hey, y'all. So I'm walking in to work. I'm tired. <sighs> I think because I ate. I'm a little sleepy. I may have to give me a little energy drink. We'll see once I start moving. But I'm walking inside and I'm about to clock in and change. 
so yes let's let's make this shmoney Look at this dog. <laughs> so when I first come in, I check the board to see if anything's going and how many rooms we got for tomorrow. This is today's cases because it hasn't hit midnight yet. So this is our locker room. I'm going to go to my locker and get my scrubs. But... Here's your girl. Your girl. <laughs> so this is the scrub return machine. So it shows you that you have to return a set of scrubs before getting a new one. These are my scrubs from last night. So we bought them. Shows me how many credits I have. <clears throat> I have one credit, so once I return another set of scrubs, I'll have another credit. If you can't get scrubs, we have bunny suits and hats for you to wear if you don't have a hat. So this is the scrub dispensing machine. I just scan my badge and it you hit dispense or change size open door two and these are my set of scrubs that I'm changing into it gives me a top and a bottom so I'm all changed up but in the OR, you cannot have any of your hair out. It's a no-no because the OR is a sterile place. And you can't have, like, any hair, really. Not even nails, but if they're a good length, you can get away with it. Here's my locker. And now I'm going to change my shoes because the OR can be a very dirty place and who wants to track home blood and bodily fluids in your place of home you know so I leave my shoes here and I change accordingly once I get started and seeing what my assignment is as far as rooms, we don't have any cases going or I would not be recording because, you know, I just make myself available for my team. But um, right now it looks like nothing's going on and I just have rooms. It didn't look like it was a lot of cases for tomorrow. So excited about that. But if it's a lot of mornings, then I got I got rooms. But I changed my shoes and I put on booties on my shoes as well to protect my tennis shoes because I don't want to have to buy new shoes, you know? So I just use, I wear the Just So So's. Yes, they got to match my scrubs. I'm just that type of girl. And I'm changing my shoes from my Crocs. Right now it's the Black Lives Matters Crocs. This was a gift from my cousin. They're super cute. And definitely fitting for the month of February so now I'm gonna just change put my compression socks on and change and this is just good to wear to avoid getting varicose veins like all nurses need to wear compression socks I see a lot that don't but if you want to keep those pretty legs sis I'll get you some 
Okay, so my coworker, Miss Annie, came to talk to me. So I cut the camera off. And she was just talking about coming to see me. Let me hide. Coming to see me at the med spa. I told her she should get a chemical pill and a B12 shot and stuff. But this is what you do. You just tie your hair in the bun like this. And I'll tie this string in the front so it won't get in my way. And you just go like this. Tie it in a bun. Like this. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go get my assignment and I'll see y'all in a bit. So these are the booties I grabbed for my shoes. I like to put at least two on each foot. So this is one, two, three, four. So I got four of these. And see, it's nothing going right now. So this is the first one I have to set up. Okay, y'all, excuse the instability, so so yeah, I have five rooms, so I'll just read off the cases I have to do. So this room is a right versus IJ port placement, internal, intern, internal jugular port placement. So that's basically a catheter placement. Then the next room I have to set up is a right knee partial medial arthroplasty. So a knee replacement. Then a left total knee arthroplasty. So that's a whole knee replacement. Then a robotic right ovarian cystectomy. So we're taking out the right ovary, the right ovary on a patient. And then last one is a right craniotomy for subdural hematoma evacuation. So that's basically a blood, a blood, um, like a blood clot in the right side of the head. So they're gonna go on the skull and basically drain it and get it out. So since this is my eight hour shift, I like to just get to it and get it over with because I missing four hours of time that it could have been done. But I try not to tire myself too much out because Four 12 hour shifts is a lot. That's just a lot. So I try to squeeze in this time, like my Wednesdays to go to the med spot and come here so I can at least be available to my clients throughout the week. So I'm gonna get a little footage of me setting up the room and I'll show y'all how it looks at the end for each case and that'll give me time to let my camera charge because this battery is low so yeah another rule in the OR you always, always, always want to wear gloves when touching anything because yes, it is terminally cleaned, but you don't know how good they cleaned it. You don't. So I always wear gloves when I touch anything in, when I step foot in this room, I put on gloves because I'm not touching nothing that probably has dry blood or dry bodily fluids like, ew, right? Okay.
it has all the supplies that you need for surgery and the instruments this case is a small case so it's just one instrument tray but that's the preference card it tells me how to do everything sterile part this is where you get the sheets to make the bed the pillows it has some positioning devices and stuff like that this is the fluid warmer where we warm our saline our getting the sheets so for bed making you always want to grab two sheets one sheet for the bed and a draw sheet a draw sheet basically um, helps you move the patient on the bed while they're asleep I always listen to my music while I'm working. I would put it on the laptop and play it out loud, but I don't want any copyright issues. So this is a pretty simple setup. It's just the bed. I make the draw sheet long because we're tucking both arms. I grab the bear hugger upper warmer to keep the patient warm during the procedure. This is the chlor prep stick that we use to prep the patient with. Um, and I'll show y'all what's in the basket. So this is the kit to place the catheter in. I mean, this is the catheter to place in the, the IG, the IJ. These are gowns. This is just the other stuff that they need. The drape, towels, wraps, all that tigaderms. More drapes. And this is a simple setup for the bed. Um, they didn't have any bovey settings. And I'm gonna bring the Neptune in, which sucks in all the body fluids. It's that thing right here. I'm gonna bring it in. This is the SCD machine. I just like placing that on the bed because some nurses forget to uh, put it on the bed, put it on their patient, but it just makes sure the blood is circulating to the patient while surgery is going because they could be laying there for hours and without moving and pumping your blood through your legs, you can create a blood clot and that can travel up to the lungs or even the brain and create damage that no one anticipated. It happened to you know a close friend of mine, her sister, and I was just devastated because 
it really it really touched me really bad because I work in surgery and then I recently got some surgery and I was hurting when she broke the news to me physically hurting from my surgery and just hurting from the fact that that happened from a simple mistake like nothing was wrong with her she's just getting some cosmetic work I'm in the other room it's way bigger way bigger and this is the the partial knee replacement that I have to do so I'm gonna go get that like that last room was an easy setup usually it takes me a minute to set up rooms because I'm in the back hall of the OR and I do a lot of ortho cases I set up and I do neuro and I do um what else like a lot of hysterectomy like uh gynecology stuff so <sighs> it's a lot of equipment that I have to pull and it's heavy it be heavy y'all so I'm gonna go grab the case car and show you the difference of how many instruments are in there versus that case that was the easy peasy case like usually it takes me 30 minutes to an hour for each room like I'll come in at 7 and I'll be done like around 1 30 sometimes not depending on my night depending on if I'm charge nurse too it takes a lot longer because my phone is steadily ringing and I have to stop and go help people um but yeah this is the arthroplasty so I definitely got to change the pads on these beds it's green pads that's usually for the arthroscopy um so now I'm gonna change it y'all show y'all the difference this case card has more trays it's not as many really I feel like the hips have the most trays but look at all this these um, supplies that we need so I go ahead and put the double basin in the ring stand back here and this is the pack for the knee lower extremity pack it has all of this. and then I pull out the circulator supply so prep sticks we'll pour this later but I'll leave that in there the bobby pad Okay, so I was digging through that basket and they're actually missing the item I was looking for. That's why it's always good to go through your supplies. Like, I basically set the room up as if I'm doing the case. So when they come in the morning, they don't have to do anything but check their patient information. So, now I have to go get the missing item. So now I'm gonna show you my setup. So for a knee arthroplasty, the surgeon likes two chlor prep sticks, which is good to have anyways. The tourniquet, the tape. I'm missing the web rule that goes with this setup. Bobby pad, shaver in case the patient's hairy arm straps to strap the patient's arm to the bed and another bear hugger so in ortho they either like alcohol or the chg scrub so this is where you scrub i just pull one of these so they'll scrub the patient's extremity before 
before prepping. So it's just make sure the patient is extra clean. And I just put a towel under it. And we keep our towels by the anesthesia um, the anesthesia machine. That's the bear hugger. It plugs up to you. Just like that. So now I'm gonna go grab a webroom. co-workers my nurse set up my room so I only had to set up five rooms this is for the right ovarian cyst removal she's so bomb like she's awesome so all the prep materials for this case is already in that pack but this is the robot that's going to be performing well the surgeon sits there and it's like a video game console really that um that's actually actually a video game chair that they sit in but yes they will be controlling the robot on the patient so this is awesome and i'll show you my last two rooms because my camera died so this setup was pretty simple too the bed is regular that's the materials, you know, so pretty simple. Nothing special for the knee. But now oops, sorry y'all. Now we're gonna head to the neuro side. We call it the south side of the OR. It's um I want to say it's four or five rooms on that side. So, okay, I got my camera clear. We're gonna head over there, set up for the cranny. And when I'm setting up, I like to uh, listen to music, listen to podcasts, or listen to like my aesthetic nurse training, my cosmetic training. And the CEO, Patty of Luz, that's the company I work for, she's just so inspirational. Like, just listen to her. She's always dropping, like, podcasts in our, um, in our communication system. And she just reminds me that I'm where I'm supposed to be. I just have to keep the momentum up and really put in the work and sacrifice like honestly i don't even care to go out no more i just want to stay home and study and really take off as an injector and you know a skincare specialist because she really like inspires me so much like i'm just blessed to be a part of this team and I'm blessed to be a part of my team here at the hospital because she didn't have to set up my room for me, but she did. And they do that a lot of times. And I won't be surprised if the South Side is set up too because they just look out for me like that. And I just thank God for my connections. Like I'm so blessed and I'm so happy. And this is like just the beginning. Like I've only been in this nursing for like two years and like the the fact that I'm given a second chance to really take off in the aesthetics industry when they could have let me go like a long time ago I'm just so blessed and thankful and happy and I will not take it for granted but I just want to sit down on the channel because I just got to listen to the podcast and she is setting us up for success like to have our own franchise like to have our own med spa if we you know like i'm just happy but that's just a little side note but we're gonna go to the south side it's a little walk so just a 
rooms I was about to set up. We have two <clears throat> not trauma cases, but emergent cases, a lap appy and an IND of the leg. So um, the other nurse, she's going to start on the lap appy. So I'm going to hurry up and finish this room so I could be ready and set up for the next case which is the IND of the leg. So, yeah, that's what's going on, y'all. So, I'll be back. <laughs> connects to the bottom of the bed but I just set it all up for the nurse to get together because <sighs> Lord <laughs> I'm sorry y'all these this stuff is heavy so this is the prep stand I put everything on the bottom on up and I set it up as such but I let the nurse deal with that part because I mean, I've done it before, but I haven't done it ooh, so many times to where I know exactly how to set it on the bed. I'll have um, the neuro scrub tech show me one day when she's over here, but that's about it, y'all. I have a minute left, and my camera's going to die. I guess my portable charger didn't do a good job but I'm gonna head over to the main OR I'm doing the second case so I'm pretty sure they started on the appy but I will do more videos of this if y'all want and actually show you how we open up the rooms but I'll see y'all later don't forget to like comment and subscribe I'll catch y'all in the next video bye bye babes